Hey, what's up everybody? This is Cat Commander back again. Um, now, in my second Terraria video, I'm just getting set up here. I'm going to trigger the Blood Moon event. Now, if you saw the last video, you'll see that I wasn't happy that the or the goblins were getting in there, so I excuse me, I'm about to yawn. Oh. These lazy Saturdays. I've kind of blocked that in a little bit, but they can still get in. We'll just see if they. We'll just see how it works out. So I'll just get my buffs gone. I'm gonna take the battle potion as well because I want to be attacked by everything. Um, regeneration. Yeah, I have that. That. Da, da, and da. Now, let me see. I'll put this out of the way for now. I'll show that there. Right, so let's see how we get on. Here comes the Blood Moon. Or not. Okay, it's 6 p.m., so I have to wait a little while. Until the game deems at night time, it would seem. So you see these buffs here, there's banners because of enemies I've killed. Maybe this list will get bigger. No, so see these banners here? They are enemies that I've killed, so it seems the more you kill, the easier it gets, but it's always hard off killing them first, so. Hmm. Oh, not yet. Okie doke, I might as well take advantage of the daytime and do my gardening very boring for anybody who plays Terraria to watch someone do their Terraria gardening, but uh, it's very important. Now it's 7pm, getting closer. So whenever the NPCs decide that they're gonna go into their little houses, and damn it, there's a lot of penguins. That's good to see. It's a shame that they're probably not going to make it through the night because of what happens, because the zombies eat penguins too. Or at least they damage them. So when these flowers here bloom and everything gets lit up, I'll know that's night time. So now it's night time. I'm half tempted to garden them as well, being honest. Alright, so here comes the blood moon. Let's see what horrible creatures attack me. So there's wraiths and all sorts. So first things first. Let's keep those hearts going because I'm going to get screwed up here. Oh yeah, I get hit in there too. Werewolf. Right, they make me bleed. Demon eyes. Nice. It's cool to see that the NPCs actually had, like attack back in the last update. Is that a harpy? Am I so high? Oh dear. That means that I'm going to get attacked probably by the flying boss as well. This is going to be an absolute mess. But in a good way. The altitude of this uh, world or this um, sort of castle I've created must be quite high. But yeah, the last thing I want is to be attacked by the flying thing. The wyvern I think it's called. 
Alright, that prick can get out of there, first of all. Get out. Uh, what I'll do is I'll close the trap door to stop any more monsters getting in. Except for those, they're ghosts. I can't do anything about that. Nice. So, the traps are working quite well. It's always good to have lenses as well. And maybe what I'll get is banners for harpies as well. Yeah, so they're in there getting slaughtered, slowly but surely. That werewolf in there, he can get slaughtered in there too. These boys coming here. Let's go. And what I'll do is I'll help it along. It's a good opportunity to try out weapons you haven't tried before as well, so I haven't tried out this yo-yo yet. I don't get why the game has yo-yos, I don't like them myself. Well, actually, I like that yo-yo, because that kind of screws them up quite a bit. Come on, yeah, come and get me. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at this, they're on some sort of fire. Nice. So this is almost like cheating, the way I've set up the, the way I've set up the boss arenas, let's call it. But, sure, fuck it. That's what it's all about. If you can manipulate the terrain to suit yourself, then it's not really cheating in essence, is it? This is beautiful. Nice. Just help this guy along to his forever home. <laughs> expecting some other enemies that aren't very pleasant and now me saying that could jinx myself here I'm not quite sure yet but we'll find out eventually and I've put the oh yeah they're the guys that I didn't want those guys destroy tiles Interesting, so now they don't destroy tiles. But they control them through geometry. Okay. Good to know. I really wish they'd spawn on the outside though, and not the inside. But that's just because that's not boxed in terrain. Werewolves don't like lasers, it seems. Oh, this is different. Who's throwing this shit at me? What is that? The ice elemental. Okay. Sorry, but you're not welcome in this invasion. I'm kind of hoping that I get some items like that stop the negative buffs. So I think the werewolves can give me bandages, because if they make me bleed... But we'll see. Nice, that yo-yo is pretty cool. Eat yo-yo. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, so there seems to be a lot more werewolves than anything else. Which is somewhat disappointing, but how never. Oh, this is what we want. Well, not really, because they're horrible scumbags, but still. There we go. It'd be cool if that thing blew up as well. Well, not really cool, but interesting, different. Because I found that the game can be quite oppressive when it wants to be. Like, you're constantly getting better loot with the caveat that every time you get better loot there's always something harder to kill and this game is not shy about kicking your ass either so yeah those boys can die in there I like this yo-yo, I have to say. I've never really used the yo-yos, but I like that one. It's pretty powerful, and it messes them up. I'd like more of those armors to come as well. That'd be nice. The possessed armors. So, if I stand here, technically they can't get past me. Until the yo-yo goes back in. And the great thing about these events too, is that you earn a good load of money doing them. So those guys are powerful, but they're slowly being poisoned. And that's the way I like it. Automated traps so that I don't have to do a lot of the work. Sweet. Squishy. Stars are handy. They are ammo and they are good for making potions. Oh, he thinks he's smart enough to get behind me, doesn't he? Come on, lads. Into the hole. That is the sound of multiple monsters getting murdered at once. That is tremendous. Oh, look at this. Same again. Just keep jumping and everything will be okay. It'll be over soon. And obviously... Or not obviously even, because uh, some people watching this might know exactly what's going on. But I'm hoping to get banners for these monsters as well. To put them at different points throughout my castle. What we call it? Let's call it a fortress, because it's not really a castle. Castles I don't really like. Don't really like fantasy stuff too much. But, um, oh, this guy got... Ahead of me, I wasn't paying attention. Right. My villagers, the NPCs are all safe as well. That's cool because I'm going to need them after the fact. Let's give him a bit of a... Yeah, he looked like he was getting cold, so... Werewolves don't like the cold. Okay, so my buffs might be... Yeah, I'd say my magic regeneration is gone. Let's get back on that, shall we? Right. And my armor penetration has gone too, so... Oh, here comes a wolf. 
It's a shame the wolves and the werewolves don't attack each other. Kind of like in Fallout, the way the different animals would attack monsters. So it's like every 50 monsters you kill, you should get a banner. That werewolf's on his last legs there. Another few seconds. Hmm. Blood Moon's not as intense as I thought it would be. The pirates are far more intense. I love the way the wolves just dive straight in and their diving distance as well is cool. Wolf. Okay. So this is taking a lot longer than the goblins because it's not down to how many enemies I kill, it's time. So yeah, 50 at werewolf killed. Nice. Just get rid of him, he can be a pain. Oh, what's that noise? Oh, it's him creeping up on me. Nice. Okay, so... Werewolf banner... Can go there. So that makes it easier to kill the werewolves, supposedly. What the... Yeah, and I can already see that they're dying a little bit faster. Right, so the Blood Moon is over now, so it's morning. Everyone seems wakes up at 4 a.m. in Terraria World. So... It'd be incredible if the werewolves suffered more damage in the daylight. That'd be cool. Right, so I'll just do the cleanup here. Just end their lives. And turn off the traps. And I think I turned traps on this side as well. No. Maybe I should get traps in the water there. I think I have dart traps. Now let's see what loot we have in here. Just cash, which is not to be sniffed at. Because, yeah, money can be used to buy goods and services, even in this world. I got a bandage, I was looking for one of those, I got two bandages, so that's sweet. Immunity to bleeding. Tremendous. And I have 76 gold. I think I had about 50 gold before I started all this. So the penguins are safe again. And I am going to end this video here. The next one will be the pirates. And although there's no video of me yet, you will see me sweat. Because I will die a few times during the pirate invasion. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get myself a cup of tea and get myself mentally prepared. And yeah, the next video I will kill pirates quote the expendables it's good to hang pirates 
Alright guys, cheers for watching and thank you very much. I'll just get this stuff up here before I exit. I've been CAD Commander, um, links below and if they're not there straight away they will be if you check back on the video at a later date. I'm just trying to get everything off the ground at once, it's a, a fantastic project to manage. So yeah, thanks again for watching and check out the next video, bye bye.